chapter 6, I guess that's probably where I'll leave off. He says, what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning that grace may increase? By no means. We died to sin. How can we live any longer? Or, or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We have therefore or we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the, through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And he says, no, it's not a matter of you just keep on sinning so that grace can abound. And there are people that accuse Paul of saying that because he was talking about the freedom we have in Christ, because he was talking about the law being fulfilled in Christ and they would think that oh he's saying the law has no no bearing anymore or you don't have to follow the law anymore and they would change what Paul was saying he was like no I'm not saying that I'm not saying that you just go do whatever you want I'm saying you don't have to worry about fulfilling the law because the law is one that is of bondage of sin of all those things that go in with the law he says but you have a law of spirit in life now with the spirit and life inside Side of you as you serve the spirit as you let that life go forth you're going to fulfill the law without having to follow the law do you understand what that means mm -hmm. you can fulfill the law without having a written law you have a law on your heart remember he talks about it's a circumcision of the heart it's not a written law that's on the outside in an outward circumcision but now it's on the inside you are a new creature and you are able to fulfill the law because you are new and you're able to do those things that are of christ because you have a life with him and in the same way you go in water baptism and you go and you surrender yourself under the water and you say i am dead to who I used to be, and you come up out of the water and you say, I am alive, I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. And it's that death, that burial, that resurrection that we die, and we die to our old man, we die to our sinful life, we die to our bondage to sin, and we come alive in freedom of Christ, in freedom of a relationship with Him, and we have the freedom that we can walk then in the Spirit, keep in step with the Spirit, serve in the Spirit. Um, and be anointed by his spirit and let that spirit love just flow all around us, in us, through us. Powerful, powerful stuff. Amen.